गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर वन रिविजन इन मैथमेटिक्स क्लास इन टुडेज मैथमेटिक्स क्लास वी रीड एक्सरसाइज वन सो प्लीज नोट डाउन इट इन योर पेयर नोटबुक सो नाउ कम टू दर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स और फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द लार्जेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर इज एज वी नो लार्जेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर इज नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी नाइन एंड सेम द स्मॉलेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर इज द स्मॉलेस्ट फोर डिजिट नंबर इज वी नो वन थाउजेंड द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ एट इन थ्री थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एटी सिक्स इज द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ एट वी नो दैट द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ एट इट इज वन इट इज टेन सो द प्लेस वैल्यू ऑफ एट इज एटी now come to the question number d the practices of 3000 is as we know when we are find out practices are in the given digit we subtracted one so we will get answer now subtract one it becomes 2 it becomes 10 now 10 becomes 9 it becomes 10 it again 10 It will become nine, and it will become ten. Ten minus one, we will get nine. Nine, nine, and two. So we will get answer two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Our next question is the successor of the given number six thousand eight hundred ninety-nine is. We know that if we if it asks. To find out the successor of the given number, so we add one the given number. So we will get answer plus one nine plus one ten one carry again nine plus one ten one carry eight one nine and six. So we will get answer six thousand nine hundred. Now come to the come to our next question the place value of dash is always remains the same so we know that the place value of zero is always remains the same now come to the next question the largest four digit number formed using four different digits in this question we need largest four digit number but we use different digits so first largest number is we know first largest number is 9 then after 9 sorry before 9 the largest digit is 8 then before 8 7 and 6 so we will get By using different digits, nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six, the largest four-digit number. By using four different digits, first one is nine. Then after nine, the largest number is accepted nine. The largest number is eight. Then after eight, seven. Then after six. So we will get answer nine thousand eight hundred seventy-six. And the opposite question is given in the next question number H. The smallest four-digit number formed using four different digits. So as we know, smallest digits like zero, one, two, zero is not digit. We take first one, then after one we take zero. The next number is two. The next number is Three. Let us to clear this con question. If we take here zero, so we will get one hundred twenty-three. So it is not a four-digit number. So first we take one, then we take zero. So we will get answer in four-digit number. Clear.
now come to the question number 2 write the following numerals in words first one is 5476 so we write 5400 Next one is six thousand nineteen. So we write nineteen. In next question, write the following new number in figures. So first one is given that question number B five thousand one hundred. Five thousand one. In question number H7031, 7031, and next question is 5010. 5010. And remaining questions are your homework. So note down it in your fair notebook. Keep that in your home. When school will be reopened, we will I will check it. And remaining questions are your homework. So write it in your fair notebook. Now come to the question number 4, write the place value and the face value of each digit in 8347. In solution, the place value of 8 in 8347 is 8000. The place value of 3 in 8347 is 340. And 7 is 7 because it is in place of unit tens, hundred and thousand and as we know the face value of any digit is itself means the face value of 8 in 8347 is 8, 3 is 3, 4 is 4 and 7 is 7. Clear? Now come to our next question, question number 5. Find the difference between the place values of two sevens occurring in 7875. We, here we see that first seven is in thousand place and second seven is in tens place. So in solution first we write the place value of first seven in 7875 is 7000 and the place value of second 7 in 7875 is 70 now we find out their difference means we subtract 0 minus 0 we will get 0 we take carry we borrow from 7 it becomes 6 then 0 becomes 10, now it's become 9 and it's become 10. 10 minus 7, we will get 3. 9 minus 0, we will get 9 and go down here 6. Now, this is our final answer. In next question, find the difference between the place value of 3 in 5396 and 5 in 7952 first we write the place value of 3 in 5396 it is 300 because 3 is in the 100 place and 5 in 7952 5 is in 10th place so we write 50 now we find their difference so first we write 300 and 50 now subtract 0 minus 0 0 we borrow from 3 it become 2 and 0 becomes 10 now 10 minus 5 we will get 5 2 minus 0 is so we will get final answer 250.
Now come to the next question. Question number seven. Write each of the following numerals in expanded form. We already learned in our previous class how to write a number in expanded form. First given number is eight thousand six hundred twenty nine. So we write eight is in thousand place. So eight thousand then plus. 600 plus 20 plus 9, so we will get 8,629. Next, 6,054. Six is in thousand place. Zero is in hundred place. Fifty then four. Or we write like that. Fifty plus four. Four are correct. The next seven thousand then plus zero then fifty then zero or we write like this also clear. Now next write each of the following in short form. Four thousand plus five hundred plus sixty plus one. So we will get four thousand five hundred sixty one and. All this number, all this number, of the next B five thousand eighty seven. So five in hundred plus there is no digit. So zero then eighty seven. In this there is no tens digit. So seven thousand seven hundred seven. In this question there is hundred places missing. So we write. Nine, then four hundred plus zero, then one, then nine. Clear? In this question, hundred and one place is missing, so we directly write in hundred plus zero, then thirty. Because one place is missing, so again we write zero. In this question, thousand place, then hundred place is missing, tens place is missing, then last we write five, eight thousand five. Clear. Now, in next question, counting by fives, write the numbers from three thousand thirty-seven to three thousand seventy-two. So from first digit three thousand thirty-seven. Now counting by five means plus five. When we are adding plus five, we will get thirty-seven plus five forty-two. Forty-two plus five. Forty-seven plus five fifty-two plus five fifty-seven. Then at last we get three thousand seventy-two. Same question in question number ten. Counting by fifteens. Fifteens means one five. Write the numerals from nine thousand thirty-three to nine thousand one hundred thirty. First, now in nine thousand twenty-three add fifteen plus fifteen. So we will get five three eight. Two one three thirty eight. Then again add fifty, so we will get. Again, when we are adding fifty, we will get nine thousand fifty three. Again fifty fifty sixty eight. Again we are adding fifty, we will get eighty three. Then at last we will get nine thousand one hundred thirty. In in last question, question number eleven, counting by fifties, fifty five zero fifties. In write the numerals in reverse means reverse means subtract. From 2010, when we are subtracting 50, we will get oh sorry 50, we will get 1916. Again, when we are subtracting 50, we will get 9000 uh, sorry 1910. Again, we when we are subtracting 50, we will get 1800. At at last, we will get 1660. Clear? So please, students, note all the questions from question number one to question number eleven in your clear notebooks and complete your homework. In next class, we will continue question number twelve. Okay, and thank you so much.